muscle tissue irritation. Uh -huh. um, but what I'm doing is, the first thing I test is, is this a disc issue? Is this, because there's only three structures, I don't say only, but there's three main structures that can cause disc or low back issues. Uh -huh. uh, two of them are actually in the spine. So one is the disc itself. You know, we have that little disc there. We yeah. have, you can see them on those little balls there and up there. Um, you can see that most people know what a disc is. They, uh -huh. they hear of the herniation or the bulge or the sciatica that goes down to the leg. I tested you for every freaking form of sciatica that there can be. Uh -huh. You passed with flying colors. That's what I said to you before. Oh, That's one of those conditions. Uh, and by the way, you know, over a certain age, you typically suspect more disc issues, and then over another age, you start to suspect more other joint issues because typically the the joint um, you'll you'll see this kind of have that supply that that vertical force uh -huh. when you come from a mechanical background, right? Yeah. So so you so you understand that vertical force can add compression to that area. Uh, at some point in time, the body normally recorrects and says, hey, I don't like this force going on here. Let's distribute some of that force to what we call the posterior element. Let's let's shift it backwards, right? Uh -huh. uh, those are the facet joints. Those are the adjustment joints. Uh, do I think you have a little bit of irritation there? Maybe, but I don't think that's your issue. So uh -huh. you're clear of the spine at this point in time. Uh, every test I did do on you, though, that did cause some irritation were to your SI joints, mm -hmm. your sacroiliac joints. Uh, particularly, you had more irritation on the right side. That has to do with how your innominate or your pelvis kind of rotates in this direction or in this direction, right? Mm -hmm. uh, it has to do with you know how it, how it provides with this direction or that direction. I think if you are sitting on it, um, I mean, every single test we did, a, we call it Laslett's cluster, uh -huh. which is pretty much a cluster of exams. It's a bunch of different exams combined together. And if you're like positive out of three or, or four of them or more, uh, you can kind of suspect. Uh, that's where I kind of compress on your side. I compress you going face down. I compress you onto your back. Uh, I did one other test that you kind of, you're like, yeah, that hurts. Uh -huh. So what happens is that I'm really taking that, you didn't have it actually as much as I would expect going face up but for other issues you kind of coming across you did you yeah. definitely had that so I think what we're doing is we're what we're doing here is we're shearing that area we're kind of creating a, a, uh -huh. a movement pattern and that's just causing enough what we call sacral ileitis or sacral uh, issues so uh, you're gonna have a lot of the muscles back here kind of spasm up and to help protect uh, I can definitely tell you you've lost a lot of range of motion uh, on both bilateral hips, uh -huh. on both hips, you know, from from just time, uh, because you only have about like 10 degrees of internal rotation on the right and left, maybe 15 I think on the left, uh, you don't really have uh, full, full blown external rotation as well, but that's probably has to do with why your, your hips are locking up a little bit back here. Uh -huh. uh, I don't think it's a nerve issue, I don't think it, it it's a big issue, I think just a little bit of treatment a little bit more mobility. You're gonna have to kind of get back on some sort of stretching routine uh, because what happens if you think about ligaments as, as you're a hurdler, you know that you become limber and then as time goes on and you don't use it, you lose it. So these things are yeah. starting to what I call ice over these dorsal sacral ligaments um, and, and all these other sacral tuberous ligament and all these SI joint ligaments are starting to really just ice over and cause a little irritation back there. So I think that's really where we're at at this point in time. So good news is it's not serious. Um, the question is how, how fast can we get it done? Yeah. yeah. Uh, do you have any questions on that? No. Usually, I would say nine times out of the 10 people coming to me, it's a disc issue. Uh -huh. So you're one of the 10%. So oh, congratulations, well, you're good. already special. <laughs> uh, so.